Hey everyone, the name is Eric Dorn. In today's video, we're talking about the evolution of the human brain and of consciousness. And the question is this, what cognitive function was developed last? And this question is brought on by MO on Patreon. MO is one of my Patreon don donors of $20 every month. And uh, MO's question is this, I've heard the idea brought up in a few places. One of them was the Personality Hacker podcast on NI and NE that intuition may be the newest cognitive function developed from an evolutionary perspective and of the two, NI is probably the newest. Do you have any thoughts on that idea? Any idea why people might think that? Related, do you have any thoughts on Carl Jung and others identifying NI with prophets, shamans, etc? So this is a great question because it gets us thinking about the evolution of the human brain and it also gets us thinking about associations to different cognitive functions. So this is a great way to get to know the cognitive functions in yourself and other people. What I've come to believe is studying neuroscience for many years now, studying genetics for many years now, is that intuition has always existed in some form and it even exists in animals and in other species beyond humans. It is not something that is particularly human, just as feelings are not something that are particularly human and thinking is not something that's only exclusive to humans. No, when we test on animals we find that they can perform many similar tasks such as humans. They can communicate, they have feelings, they have relationships, they have connections, they have bonds, they memorize things. And all of these things, they can just draw us together. We have something we all share because we are animals. We are all animals to some degree, to some extent. So the question is, did some cognitive function develop later than the other? And I think the better answer is, have some cognitive functions been improved or expanded upon later in life? Have some cognitive functions come to become more useful as humanity has progressed? Is the intuitive mind more suitable for modern society than the sensing mind? Is the world becoming more intuitive? <laughs> Are we experiencing some kind of intuitive awakening? So, what I'm thinking here is, no, no, I don't think so. I don't think we are becoming more intuitive. I think as humanity has progressed and we have grown, a lot of really fascinating things have come to happen. We have become more organized. We have stronger hierarchies in society. We have a stronger sense of authority and leadership. Who does, does what? We have stronger protocols, stronger rules, stronger laws. Uh, the human society has progressed to become increasingly refined. We have more bureaucracy than ever, more laws than ever. We have more kinds of uh, concepts that all relate to sensing and thinking. Sensing and thinking is stronger than ever. But the same goes for intuition and feeling. We also see a more diverse expression of culture. We see a more... Uh, we see more and more genres of music, we see more and more uh, kinds of uh, movies, we see more and more different kinds of uh, actions and acting, we see different people, more different cultures. We see an, a change on a cultural as well as a bureaucratic level in society. We see an increase in social relationships and bonding as a result of social media. And we see a higher state of innovation, new technologies suddenly coming up. So we are experiencing a shift on all levels. And what I believe is happening is we are going towards a higher state of consciousness. So the only thing I can say for certain is we are not becoming more intuitive per se. We are becoming more conscious of being intuitive. We are becoming more conscious of being sensing. We are becoming more conscious of becoming thinking. We are becoming more conscious of feeling. So the evolution of consciousness, that is the biggest shift humanity has ever experienced. And you can see that in the growth of the frontal lobe of the brain. So the prefrontal cortex was the part of the brain that was developed last. And the prefrontal cortex is associated with our ability to regulate our own emotions and thoughts and ideas, to think about our experiences consciously. So with the evolution of this part of the brain, what happened was we became more and more aware of our ability to think about our experiences. 
we can think about and realize that I am having an idea right now. Oh, I'm in, a, in this room right now. I'm doing this thing right now. I'm performing this task right now. I am expressing this feeling right now. So we become more and more conscious of our behavior. So what we are moving from is a tribal state that has existed for a long time in society to something higher. And if you use spiral dynamics to understand that, perhaps spiral dynamics is the <laughs> spiral dynamics is the best model to understand the evolution of humanity and what is happening in society. So we are moving from uh, primarily from the beginning archaic and instinctive consciousness where we primarily responded to what was happening around us without thinking, where we made decisions without consciously reflecting on if they were good or not. We lived purely on instinct. And after that, we moved towards perhaps a more security-oriented consciousness. We became more mindful of our own security. Am I alive? How can I keep myself alive? What decisions have what consequences? What happens if I jump off a cliff? That ability to be able to be conscious of the consequences of your own behavior. And then after that, we have gained the ability to have stronger impulse control. We can uh, be conscious of our own impulses, our own desires, our own whims. And we have developed to have a stronger set of rules. We have developed to have a stronger idea of personal success. We have developed in stages. You could say from stage one to two to three to four from uh, different mindsets from uh, what in spiral dynamics is called the survival stage, beige, to the security stage, purple, from the power stage, red, to the order stage, blue, to the success stage, orange. Yeah, we are somewhere today in between blue, orange, or perhaps green, depending on how optimistic you are. And um, what this means is we are becoming increasingly conscious and our consciousness is expanding and it's expanding past ourselves and our own needs to past the tribe and our family to nations, to glo the globe, to the people as a whole. And uh, I don't believe this is a linear trend. I don't think this is necessarily doomed to keep on growing infinitely. I believe there is a chance for it to slip and drop and grow and increase depending on what happens and with what we decide to do with our society. I believe in a state of wartime, our consciousness drops in a state of tragedy and hard, hardships and uh, tests and uh, the downfall of society. I think so will we experience a slip towards lower consciousness if these things come to happen. And I believe when you are more conscious of your own behavior, no matter if you're a sensor, thinker, feeler, or intuitive, your ability in these areas improve. You are able to use your sensing in more refined ways. You are able to use your thinking in more refined ways. Where thinking perhaps in the past was only associated with, the, was only an instinct. This was just the thought you had uh, with, the, with, the, with, the, with no awareness. Yeah, I know it's hard to fathom a thought you had that you didn't even realize that you were having. I think when thought, thinking was this primitive, we were never able to do anything real with it. We were not able to build anything from it. We were never able to make something lasting with it. It only came up about a situation. It only came about in... Uh, our own minds and it was so undefined and was so unclear that it was often inaccurate or unscientific or unrealistic. It served a purpose of course, it keeps, keeps us alive, our instincts are meant to be to primarily keep us alive. They are th thoughts that shape uh, what we have experienced, what we have seen, what we have been through. But it didn't, it didn't have any use beyond that. So I believe what we need to be looking at is uh, from on, a, on a cognitive function level, and I'm working on this, is leveling the cognitive functions and being able to write down what happens as we grow on an individual scale as well as a societal scale. What happens with thinking in level 1, in level 2, in level 3, in level 4, in level 5, level 6, level 7, level 8, and so on and so forth. And that's uh, why I made a video about INTGA development recently, where I tried to start speculating about these topics. Now. 
I hope this answered your question. No, I do not believe NI came, NNE came before sensing. I think intuition has existed since forever and it exists in both animals and in people. I don't believe consciousness is the same as intuition. I believe that uh, consciousness gave us the ability to regulate our intuition. And what that means, it gave us the ability to realize and become more aware of our dreams and our various uh, abstractions and generalizations and theories. It helped us uh, realize that we are having ideas, that we are experiencing things. So, you know, what I do feel is uh, we are getting a higher intuitive consciousness. Intuitives are getting a higher intuitive consciousness. And, you know, sensors are as well, of course. But consciousness is the strongest in our dominant functions and the weakest in our inferior functions. So sensors have the strongest conscious awareness of reality and intuitives have the strongest conscious awareness of the unknown. And when you think about it, having a unconscious or lower awareness of the world around you, that's not pretty smart, is it? I hope you appreciated this answer and if you have any requests for videos, do visit my Patreon page, patreon.com slash ericdor and submit your video request or article request. Thanks for watching and do share your thoughts in the comments down below.